There are endless number of memory card brands to choose from. Brands like SanDisk, Sony, Lexar, Kingston and many more. But which memory card you go for? Should you buy a standard SD card, SDHC or even consider SDXC? What is the difference between UHS-1 and UHS-2 SD cards? What is the video speed class? Do symbols like V30, V60 or V90, A1, A2 make sense to you? Well, too many things to consider before buying a memory card. But don't worry, you are not alone and we are here to help. Hey, what's up guys, Cameron from MCAM Tech here. As you know, there are a number of technical jargons when it comes to buying memory cards. So before you buy any memory card, I suggest you watch the entire video that will help you understand all the symbols and terms associated with memory cards to make an informative decision. So in this video, I'm gonna explain memory cards in detail. What is the best memory card to record full HD and 4K video? I will also tell you which memory cards I use for my GoPro Hero 7 or Canon 90D DSLR cameras to shoot 4K videos. In addition, I will run speed and performance tests on SanDisk Extreme and SanDisk Extreme Pro, SDHC and SDXC memory cards and show you the results that you should expect from your memory card. Let's get started. The first thing most people consider is the capacity of a memory card and this is where it's shown on the SD card. This tells you the capacity of the card. The card on the left is 32 gig or 32 GB and the one on the right is 128 GB. How much of 4K video recording you can do depends on the capacity of the SD card. The average 120 gig SD card can store up to four and a half hours of 4K footage. Here is a chart that shows the available SD cards with their capacity types. First on the list is the standard SD card that can store up to 2 GB of photos or video recordings. Next one on the list is SDHC or Secure Digital High Capacity Card that can store footage over 2 GB up to 32 GB. After that comes the SDXC or Secure Digital Extended Capacity Card that comes over 32 GB up to 2 TB of storage. And then the last one on the list is SDUC or Secure Digital Ultra Capacity Card. This is available in over 2 TB and up to 128 terabytes offering a mind-blowing storage for all your photos and 4K recording. The next thing to consider is the speed class of SD cards. Most SD cards are labeled with up to three types of speed classes with a minimum sequential write speed. The initial SD speed classes were class 2, class 4, class 6 and class 10 which appears as a number in the letter C. SD card in this class indicates with a minimum write speed of 2, 4, 6 or 10 megabytes per second. The next class of SD cards introduced is known as UHS or ultra high speed class. This indicates the card can sustain with a minimum of 10 or 30 megabytes per second. It appears as number 1 or 3 inside the letter U. Then most recently SD cards have started to be labeled with the video speed class which appears as number 6, 10, 30, 60 or 90 after the letter V. These SD cards are capable of 6, 10, 30, 60 or 90 megabytes per second minimum sequential write speed. Let's take an example of SanDisk Extreme Pro SD card. The symbols C10, U3 and V30 indicates that the card is capable of sustaining minimum write speed of 30 megabytes per second. But over here it says 170 megabytes per second. This is the potential read speed. If you look at the back of the packaging then you will notice that it shows up to 170 megabytes per second read speeds and up to 90 megabytes per second write speeds. Keep in mind that the performance or speed of the SD card may vary depending on the host device, SD card interface, usage conditions and other factors. Therefore use the recommended SD card reader to get high performance and full read and write speeds. In this case SanDisk SD card reader would be the perfect choice to get full read and write speeds. The links to these recommended SD cards and SD card reader are given in the description of this video. Check them out. On some SD cards, particularly micro SD cards, you may have noticed that there is A1 or A2 written. These are the application performance classes, class 1 A1 or class 2 A2. 
Both classes have minimum sustained write speed of 10 megabytes per second, but the only difference is the minimum random read and write speed. These SD cards are mainly targeted at smartphones or gaming consoles like Nintendo Switch. The choice between A1 and A2 depends on the apps or games you use. So check out the specifications and requirements of those apps or games before you buy your next SD card. However, if you are not sure, I suggest you get class 2 A2 SD card as it can handle more IOPS so it will give you high performance as compared to class 1 A1 SD card. Let's run some memory card speed and performance tests. I'm gonna pick SanDisk Extreme and SanDisk Extreme Pro SD cards. SanDisk Extreme is SDHC micro SD card that I use Use for my GoPro Hero 7 Black action camera, whereas SanDisk Extreme Pro is the SDXC SD card that I use with my Canon EOS 90D DSLR camera. I'm using Blackmagic speed test software on my Mac to run these tests, but if you are a Windows user, you can run these tests on Crystal Disk Mark software. Both are free software to use, and you can find the download links in the description of this video. By the way, a thumbs up to this video would be really appreciated. I have put my SanDisk Extreme micro SD card in the Apple SD card reader which is compatible with both UHS-1 and UHS-2 SD cards. Running the disk speed test is pretty simple. Just select the target drive and click start to run the test. In our case, the target drive is SD card. The test only takes a few seconds to run and you can see it shows us the write speed is 62.9 megabytes per second and read speed is 87.8 megabytes per second. Whereas running the same test on SanDisk Extreme Pro SD card shows us the write speed is 79.3 megabytes per second and read speed is 87.7 megabytes per second. Now if we compare both SDHC and SDXC SD cards, notice both have same read speed of 87.8 megabytes per second on average and the only difference is the write speed. SanDisk Extreme Pro provides 79.6 megabytes per second of write speed whereas SanDisk Extreme provides 62.4 megabytes per second. So effectively you are getting more write speed from SDXC SD card as compared to SDHC SD card but the question is, why are you not getting the claimed read speed of up to 170 megabytes per second and write speed of up to 90 megabytes per second? This is because we have not used the recommended SanDisk SD card reader. So in order to get the high performance, we need to use the recommended SanDisk SD card reader. Links to this card reader are in the video's description below. Sometimes it's worth spending a little extra to get better speed, especially if you are a vlogger or find yourself shooting 4K videos most of the time, in which case you would need a high performing SD card like SanDisk Extreme Pro. On the other hand, if you take photos or record videos occasionally and not really fussed about the extra time it would take to transfer your footage from your camera to your PC or Mac, then you will be fine with the standard baseline SD card like SanDisk Extreme. The good thing about SanDisk memory card is that these are waterproof, temperature proof, shock proof and x-ray proof. It also comes with lifetime limited warranty to give you extra peace of mind. Both SanDisk Extreme and SanDisk Extreme Pro are designed to last long. In addition, it comes with Rescue Pro software which is free to download and use for two years. It is a data recovery software which can recover your footage that you may have deleted mistakenly from your SD cards or even the hard drive of your computer. Be aware of fake SD cards that look almost similar to the original ones. Here are some memory cards, buying guidelines and tips that would keep you safe from the online scammers. Price tag of the fake SD cards should be the first thing to alert you. Fake SD cards are generally available at much lower price as compared to the original ones. Always buy from authentic seller or website and check the seller's review. Inspect your SD card to make sure it's genuine. Poor quality of packaging and labels on the SD card is an indication that the card is fake. Run speed and performance tests. Fake SD cards wouldn't show you the read and write speeds written on the packaging. Another thing to check is the storage space. Fake SD cards appear to have less storage space from what is mentioned on its packaging. This can be checked from your computer. Last but not the least, avoid buying used or refurbished memory cards where possible. 
I hope you have found this useful. All the links are in the description below. Go check them out. Like this video and subscribe to my channel if you would like to learn more. Comment if you have any questions or feedback. And also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. And I'll see you in the next one.